principal mistake that I made was in uh, dealing with, with, with students, initially graduate students. Um, we're, you know, we're all taught how to do experiments and evaluate experiments, but we're not taught how to manage people, you know, rare, rarely. And that, that, was a real, that was a real challenge for me. Um, because inevitably when you start a lab, even if you get bright people, there are going to be conflicts and some people are going to work hard and some people are not and managing different personalities. Uh, so um, for me, it, it was just a matter of um, learning my own style. Uh, I had, uh, I, when I was a graduate student, I was uh, in a lab of a very powerful individual, another actually a Nobel laureate by the name of Arthur Kornberg, who had a very a tough management style. Basically, it was you know, uh, his way or the highway. And um, uh, he could be really brutal. Um, and so I thought when I started as an independent faculty member, I just had to be tough like that. So <laughs> but I quickly learned that it's just not in my personality. And so uh, I couldn't do that. So I had to adapt to my own personality and develop my own style, which was to operate just by enthusiasm. And if people can can be encouraged to work harder because I'm enthusiastic about what they're doing, then, that, then, then it works. But that doesn't work for all, for all types. So you just have to, have to um, develop your own style. But be aware that dealing with issues like that is a major challenge for a new independent investigator because very few people come with those skills because they haven't been taught to do that. 